both share the same wheelbase of 106 inches. The exterior lines for the 5-door are very, very similar to the larger Mazda 6 and as a result support similar front and rear lighting packages. The interior space has the same interior dimensions as the sedan, but a look at the features makes it clear this is a serious upgrade. A center console based control dial is the gateway to multiple functions from audio to climate control and navigation. The center screen in the Touring Edition is where multiple apt based functions can be viewed. Surprisingly, this was the first model where we get a chance to check out the heads-up display system. It is presented on a retractable plexiglass screen directly over the tachometer-based IP. Mechanically, the 2.5-liter Skyactiv inline four-cylinder engine delivers a pretty robust performance with 184 horsepower and 185 foot-pounds of torque. The matched six-speed automatic transmission managed to move through its progressions very efficiently to deliver the now expected fuel economy numbers. The braking system used what the brand calls IE loop technology, a regenerative system that converts heat from stopping into stored electricity, which in turn lessens drag on the alternator to power multiple functions in the car. In a week of driving, we found the configurations to work seamlessly, but what also impressed us was the quieter than expected interior operating noise level. While it was not quite a museum, it gave us a chance to appreciate how nimble the platform can really be. This is a far cry from the origins of the Mazda Compact Sedan, the 323, and proof that there may be a new wave of design and engineering coming to the forefront from Japanese-based automakers. This is Greg Mars. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper tv at cs.com.